Good morning, and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto. Um, today with my cat mug, the amazing cat mug. Um, someone asked me a question about um, children with um, autism and where they would be placed um, in schools here in Japan. I actually had two or three different comments in different ways about this, but I just had one question asking. So um, I have had many children who are autistic in my classes over the years. Um, depending on the child, um, depending on their needs, um, they can be placed um, anywhere that is um, good for them. So I teach at a regular high school, so the kids who have had autism in my classes are just in the regular mainstream classes with everybody else. I've had um, kids with all kinds of um, diagnoses, and they've all just been in class with everybody else. Um, we give them supports, and the teachers know what the students um, are diagnosed with and what their needs are, depending on if we've been informed by the parents and the doctors, of course. Hopefully they're informing us. Um, and then, and so um, the children can, you know, just be in the classes with everybody else. Um, there are special classes and pull-out classes for kids who need additional support. Um, there are those courses in the elementary school and in the junior high school. There are actual full schools for kids who need to be in a separate learning environment. Um, if that's what their diagnoses or their parents feel should be done. Um, but yeah, everybody can go to whatever school they want to. Um, Japan is a right to learn country. So children have the right to learn and to be taken care of and to live in a safe environment. So they're allowed to go to school with everyone else um, and do their thing. So it's a really, it's a really great thing. And there are supports in place for everybody. I don't know that I um, have any more insight that I can give on this other than um, what I've said so far already, that everybody's supported. The teachers know there's usually a plan in place. Um, there's a school counselor at every school. Um, so if the student needs to have a daily check-in, um, they can go in and work with them. If they're fine otherwise, then they just, you know, do classes like everybody else. It's the mainstream education. So um, it really depends on your child and what your child needs. Um, but they should be fine and they should be able to, you know, go through the system like everybody else. Um, and that's also something, though, I, I guess I can say here at the end, if you're applying for something like the JET program or other program to come to Japan, please make sure that you um, fill that out in your family's uh, medical history. If you do need a special doctor for medication or if you need a special doctor uh, for counseling, um, fill all of that out so that when you come, um, they know to place you in a place where you'll have those resources. And um, then you'll get taken care of. So it's a good thing, and there's lots of resources in this country, so it'll be good. All right, everybody have a good day. See you later. Man. <sighs> My brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I could at least think... Ha, ha, ha.